And now, WJCL News, working for you. Hilton Head fire officials are still questioning whether a shark bit a woman this week. A North Carolina woman says it happened while she was swimming in the water. Low Country Bureau Chief Larry Sproul is working for you tonight to keep you safe in the waters this beach season. He joins us now in the studio with an update. Shark bites, huh, Larry? Shark bites, possible shark bites, Kevin. Uh -huh. Yeah, fire officials want to remind people just about a couple of tips, and they say it's real simple. Just watch your surroundings on the beach or in the water. Sunny skies and perfect waves, the best combination for a perfect beach day on Hilton Head Island. But Tuesday, things went in a different direction. There were multiple bystanders who had um, thought they saw a shark in the water at the time. Johida Fister with Hilton Head Fire says when they arrived, they saw a woman bleeding around her ankle. Fister says she claimed a shark bit her. We can't make that determination on whether or not it was a shark bite or um, something else. It could be another fish. There's also um, stingrays that we also respond to um, stingray punctures at times as well. So um, there are other things in the water that can cause lacerations to the legs and feet. Fister says although it's very possible sharks can swim very close to the beach area, it's very unlikely. Well, within the last like 10 years, um, we showed that we've responded to a possible shark bite about 10 times. The tourism season is in full effect on Hilton Head Island, attracting thousands of people to the island every year. A great, great place. I mean, uh, nice water, nice, pretty nice climate. Yeah, I like the fish. So, yeah, I come here quite a bit. And Fister wants to keep the beach a great place. That's why she wants to remind beachgoers about some rules to keep you safe. Number one, make sure you are aware of your surroundings, both on the beach and in the water. Also, know where the lifeguards are so you know where to get help if need be. And next, make sure you stay hydrated and last but not least, wear sunscreen. Fister says the last possible shark call was June of last year. And another safety rule is if you're in the water and you see something floating around or swimming around you, just kind of kick and move your, move your feet a little bit. That will scare the creature away. Oh, glad you're back in one piece. <laughs> one piece. Tonight. Larry Sproul, <laughs> thank you, sir.